Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time, I showed you guys the secret to more financial success. Uh, we got some more gold, and we should now have enough money to make our trip to Africa and back. And that's going to be the first place we're going to go. Um, you know, I, we don't have any missions to do from the king. We're going to do one more thing real quick, and then I promise we're going to go. Heavy fog's blocking our sight. Okay, that's a niche thing. So basically, you can't see any ships, as long as you know the map and you know where you're going. It's okay. I guess this is the famous London fog, because we're near London. But anyways, uh, no big deal there. And the fog finally cleared. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to go over here to Amsterdam. Because we're going to pick up some glass beads. Because you can sell... Oops, shoot. Um, you can sell glass beads um, at any point, at any one of the ports in Africa, and make a, a huge profit off it. So we're going to do that real quick. I need to be... It needs to be in the morning for us to go to the market. Okay, there we go. And uh, glass beads are the specialty here in Amsterdam, so might as well buy them. And they're very, they're pretty cheap. They may be three gold pieces as opposed to two, but yeah, they're three. That's okay. Yes, that's fine. And we're gonna we want to get them on definitely the 890. So okay, we are now ready to set sail. So finally, after much stalling and much uh, uh you know delaying. We're finally ready to go. So, okay. Let's rock and roll. I'll definitely be back to Amsterdam at some point, so. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to start heading to West Africa. I may, may need to make a stop real quick and resupply. Let's see who we got here. Just for, because I always have to. Okay, the Dutch are heading, apparently they're starting to head to Spain, or Spain, to South America to make some investments there, and that's fine. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop here in Santa Cruz real quick. I need to check anyways and make sure that they're selling gold. We're going to come back and pick up some gold later from them, but nope, they haven't really got it going yet, so. Okay, no problem, we need to resupply anyways. Okay, we're going to resupply ships. Um, as I'm resupplying, a couple of things that I want to point out. Um, a couple of comments have been posted. By the way, thank you for those of you that are posting comments. Um, I really appreciate the feedback, and I'm glad that some of you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far. Um, I do understand that you can... Okay, who's this here? Hey, there's a Spanish battle fleet. I wonder if he's after us for some reason. But anyways, um, I realize that you can save the game in ports. Um, we're not heading south here. Um, but I like to save at sea. It's easier for me for my videos um, to to save in a port and rearrange some of my ships if I need to or anything like that. But I would definitely recommend that you uh, save at sea before you do any battle. So, But thank you for those of you that are pointing that out for me. So, Okay. We are heading. We're heading south now of Santa Cruz. Um, this is the west coast of Africa. Okay. Here's the message that we, we need balm for. So the storms are coming. So you immediately go to your items as soon as you get that message. And we're going to unleash a bomb. And the storm is gone. All right, cool. Now it's not going to rain again for a long time, so you're now good to go. You're, you're safe. So you'll notice that every single one of ports, these ports that we go to, um, our fame and adventure is going up. So we're not only getting fame for discovering ports, uh, we're getting fame for finding the world map. And we report that back to Mercator eventually. So who's this? Oh, there's a Portuguese battle fleet. Rafael Selran. Okay. I don't know what he was up to. That's cool. At some point in the game, we're actually going to defeat him, believe it or not. Uh, once I believe, actually, we might be okay to do that now because um, we can actually turn our that little fleet into ten Venetians. But let me just check on something. Yeah, your fame in Portugal is a hundred. So if there's anybody, and I know this is kind of cruel, but if there's anybody in your team that you want to hire, once your fame is high enough, you can actually go ahead and attack them. And uh, your fame will drop down, but you can get that back by just attacking other fleets. So it's a good way to beef up your fleet, and it's also a good way to to uh, get anyone that you want on your team. So here's some more um, more villages. In some of my future videos, I'll probably speed this up, but we haven't found any villages yet, which is kind of surprising. Okay, we have a little river here. We're going to head up this river. Anytime you see a river of yours, you always want to head up it because chances are there's villages and stuff for you to find. Um, that's not always the case, but most of the time it is. So, okay, nothing. Yep, see, there's a village. 
Okay, let's stop and explore this village, see what we got here. Okay, we discovered a natural wonder. Cool. Let's see what we got here. An anthill. Hmm. Well, I guess it is a natural wonder that so many of those little ants can can make this such a tiny hill, so. Another village. Outstanding. Uh-oh. What's this? Look at the sky. A flaming bird. It's a fire bird. Oh, how cute. I may have to, at some point, insert a clip of the Stravinsky Firebird Suite here in this moment. But, but the last ship of the fleet caught on fire. What? Oh, man. Well, here's what that means, viewers, just so you know. Basically, a lot of our ships got... This one down here, look at XX. The speed of the ship got cut in half because of the Firebird, so we need to repair it. Fortunately, I had got some lumber from um, from uh, defeating some guys. So, ah, the port of Timbuktu. So, I don't know if you all have heard that saying. We're going to Timbuktu and back. But anyways, um, we're literally going to Timbuktu. Okay, ruins of an ancient civilization, or ruins. Hope it, hope some of you got that joke. Ruins. Even though Stewie doesn't really say that. Okay, we're going to stop here in Timbuktu, and we got some levels up, which is a good thing. Now, you might be asking why we're stopping in Timbuktu. Well, for a few reasons. One is because we're going to make an investment, because it's a neutral port, we might as well. Um, now, look, if you'll notice, uh, the marketplace is actually pretty high, so we actually don't need to invest in the marketplace, um, because I believe they're already selling the specialty of the port. Oh, uh, let me go look. Hello, John Franco. Ivory. Yeah, they're selling it. They're also selling gold. So uh, we're going to come back at some point and purchase some gold from them. But they're not they are not the people that I want to sell my gold to just yet. So we're going to go ahead and invest in the shipyard. Since we don't need to invest in the marketplace. And we'll invest a couple gold bars. Again, it's always good for neutral ports to, um, to invest in them. Get them on your side. So that you're... Uh, your country becomes stronger. Uh, okay, the next thing I want to do here is I'm going to buy, in my opinion, the best sword in the game. And you get it here in Timbuktu. So what we're going to do is, let me find the weapon store make sure that it's here. Is that it up there? I think it's up there. Too. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so as always, to get the best items in the game, you need to do the 2 a.m. trick. So let me do that. Oops. And uh, yes, we will check in. Okay. Oops, oops, no, I forgot to do the Taylor Am trick. I'm an idiot. Sorry, viewers. Check in. I got so excited about that. No. 2 a.m. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm a moron. Okay, now we're going to go up to the weapon store. Or it's, it's really called the item shop, but I always call it the weapon store because it's got a sword on there. So, and I'm used to other RPGs. So, okay. Some really special items that we don't usually see. We're going to buy one, and we are going to get, bam, the Crusader Sword. It's a star fencing sword. So, again, it's my favorite sword in the game. I think it's the best sword in the game because the enemy tends to block most of the time, and it's got great star power. Star power. Yes, just like the target. So, yes, we will buy that, and yes, we will put it on. Oops, we'll have to sell one first. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, oh, I have one. I just got to sell an item, so. Um, where's my flambridge? I don't need that anymore. Can okay, we go ahead and sell this? And for 7,000 gold, no. There we go. 10,000 gold. Sweet. Okay. So now we have the best sword in the game. Uh, this tells me that I actually need to get rid of some of my stuff, so uh, when I get back to Europe, I'm going to befriend probably the waitress in Amsterdam. And um, I will... Uh, get rid of some of my items doing that, so. Okay, let's continue to set sail. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'm running short on time here, unfortunately, so I'm going to try and get to uh, the place that I really want to go, but I may have to stop at some point, so. Just so you guys know. Okay, we found another village, alright, great. Okay, we'll go check out that village. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Discovered a monument. All right, good. Diago's Monument. Oh, okay, apparently Diago Com discovered the Congo, so that's awesome. So again, viewers, this is a great educational way for you guys to learn um, a little bit about the game, a little bit about um, history, too, and stuff like that. So Okay, well, there's another river, but unfortunately, I'm out of time. So next time, we're going to discover that river, and we're going to make our way to East Africa. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.